Hey, church. Coming to you tonight from the uh, sanctuary. Just stopped by here on my way home. Uh, just had a quick word uh, that I want to share with you. Um, this past weekend, the Super Bowl took place, as many of you know. Um, this year was one of the, uh, the highest priced tickets. Being in California, Hollywood area, you can imagine how much the, uh, the tickets were going for. And it was hard to get a ticket there. And even though the cost was so high, uh, it was still a sellout. People still paid the money uh, because they wanted to be there. They want to be you know, part of the Super Bowl, whether they're from Cincinnati or Los Angeles to see their teams or just the um, celebrity aspect, uh, seeing everybody there, all the stars from Hollywood, things like that. Uh, so it was a hard ticket. Um, I think of times that when, you know, me and my kids uh, would go to, to sporting events in Philly, you know, we, we, we needed a ticket to get in. Sometimes, um, you know, the tickets were a little bit more expensive than, than others. Um, but we paid the price to be there. As we're getting ready for our, uh, this week of prayer and in anticipation for a healing service on Sunday, um, it's, it's amazing uh, what God is doing. In the, in the hearts and minds of people, even this week. Um, but I'm thinking that as we prepare for this healing service on Sunday, which I believe God is going to do uh, miracles, I'm reminded that, that we, we don't just come to church, pray for miracles, expect miracles, just because we show up. Um, we need to remember there is a high price paid for our healing. And... and the high price that was paid was the price that Jesus paid himself. Uh, he bore uh, the pain. He bore the whipping. He bore um, the shame. He bore the getting spit on, um, the lashes on his back, uh, ripping the skin. When we come to, to God and ask him for, you know, for healing, we have a ticket. We have a ticket to say, you know what, our healing was paid for. Our healing has been paid for, and we have the, um, the right as children, as God's children, um, to, to redeem that, so to speak. We know, the Bible says that he was you know, wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. Uh, again, such a high price. Um, you know, what, what, we, what are we willing to pay for that? For peace of mind, for peace in your body, I'm sure people would pay a lot for it. But you know what? The price has already been paid. We need to understand that. We need to accept that. We need to walk in that. And I believe that that as we gather this Sunday, uh, I'm so encouraged of some of the things that I'm hearing. Um, people who've had plans to be away um, just have a sense of, I need to be in the house of God this, this, this Sunday and change their plans. Uh, so it's that anticipation. It's that... Um, you know, woman with the issue of blood, that if she could just touch the hem of Jesus' garment, she knew she would be healed. And there's a lot of people praying, um, not only just in Delaware and Maryland, but literally all around the country, praying for uh, our time on Sunday. And I believe God is going to do great things. The anticipation level is just uh, through the roof. And like I've been saying the past couple nights, you know, it is not in us. We have zero ability to heal someone else. But when we rely on the name of Jesus, we pray in the name of Jesus that we can do all things, greater things, he says, that we can do because the Holy Spirit is with us. So again, just, just can't wait until Sunday, uh, hearing great things already, what God is doing in anticipation. And, and remember, a couple nights we talked about forgiveness, huge key, huge key to, to healing. Uh, yesterday we talked about caring. Do we care enough? Uh, to, to let our neighbors know, do we care enough to be a witness, to, to physically, uh, verbally speak to, to the people around us and asking them, you know, do you know Jesus? Do you need a healing touch? And, and so many times that, you know, we have not because we ask not. And I believe that, that ground, as we pray, ground is being softened, that you may, have, you may have witnessed to a person many, many, many times and they just shut the door on you. But I believe we need to keep knocking because we don't know. I share my testimony and, and you know, getting saved at a, uh, the Christian cinema in Ambler with Harry Bristow uh, after seeing a Christian movie. And 
you know, them saying, he, you know, having an altar call, I, he, he asked, you know, if you want to receive Christ in your heart, please come forward. And I was so moved, but my feet wouldn't move. And he had said, you know, a second time I'll ask. And it was a third time I'll ask. For the fourth time I'll ask. I don't want to move on. And by the ninth time, I was just sitting in my seat. You're standing there saying, Lord, if he says it one more time, I'm going. And I'm so glad that night that Harry Bristow kept knocking, knocking at our heart's doors. And, and that ninth time, you know, I, I, I made the walk up the altar at the, at the Christian cinema in Ambler, PA, and asked Jesus into my heart. I'll never forget that. Uh, so the persistence. So people you may have um, witnessed to many, many, many times, don't stop. The next time you ask, the next time you offer to lead them to the Lord may be the time. So um, don't grow weary, weary in well-doing. The Bible says that, that we will reap if we don't faint, if we don't give up. So again, uh, praying for, uh, for all who will be in attendance here. Uh, like I said last night, if you can't be in attendance, you know, some people are all over the country. Um, you know, we want to pray for you. We want, we want to hear the prayer request, and we will pray for you um, on Sunday morning as if you're here, you know, with us. And I believe the anointing of God uh, knows no state lines. The anointing of God will meet you where you're at. Uh, so God bless you. I'm so looking forward. And, and like I said before, if there's anything um, in the meantime, please just leave a note uh, in, the, in the comments, and we'll be sure to pray for you. I'll get in touch with you, and we'd love to pray for you. Uh, until then, have a blessed evening and good night.